Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fabric Online. Hopefully, this works just as well as it did for the Terraria vid I made. I, I, I just said not that long ago. Uh, in my previous Star Trek video, I showed sort of not very well on how to get this science vessel that you can get when you get uh, the choice at level 10 whether or not which ship that you want uh, you just go to the sea store you go to the ship showed you showed you in the previous one but not very clear uh, go to tier 2 and the road on the science vessel is right there you just click climb simple free um, so my advice would be to either go for the gladius well the tactical ship or the Enterprise Constitutional class, but on the sea store they look different because they're the ones that you can pay for with the special currency. You can either buy it or work towards it with Delithium. That's the story for another time. So let's get into this one. Um, hopefully, I don't have to replay this mission as many times as I've had to play the previous mission, the previous episode, which First playing it and you don't know what it's like, it's difficult. Well, I found it difficult the first time. Um, but I've played it that much, testing out my recorder so many different times. Uh, it was stupid. To the point where I knew it off my heart. <laughs> and it was getting really annoying that was. But it's done, it's dusted, it's in the previous video. But I'm glad we can move on. I have gotten past the heart wrenching previous one, which I am actually quite happy about. Sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't pick up any of anything. I love the flashlight that you can get <clears throat> out of this. Just sucks that you don't get to keep it. <clears throat> Sorry. Unless I don't think that you get to keep it, which really annoys me. And wherever you look, the light goes. Which is good. Sorry again. would be the only explanation. Sorry if I seem to be doing this too fast, but <clears throat> I probably should have made it clear at the beginning of each episode that if you want to read what they say, because let's say you haven't played it before, uh, go ahead and pause, pause it every time that something pops up on the screen like that, because uh, I'm trying to like give like a little bit of like a couple of seconds of so you can click it, read it, go, click the next one, go. I don't want to spend too much time sticking to one chat box. Uh, oh. I must have forgotten about that. Alright, so find lift maintenance the maintenance lift, which seems to be over there. Um Go over here? No, I cannot. Oh, <laughs> problem about these missions is they're like the starting episode. So we all meaning that I won't remember them as much. Thank you for that. Uh, that was 
very much appreciated for exploding me. I always like scanning these because when, if you don't have all the money you need to, uh, yes, of course, to get the things that you need um, for, uh, for r and research and development, <coughs> I don't think I've, re I've shown that. PQs, duty officers, uh, level 15, oh, I'll do a video on it, it'll just make it easier. Um, research and development is where you make your own stuff, which is pretty nifty. Uh, pretty good. Uh, <coughs> well, the higher you level in it, the better your stuff, and the better the quality. So, first, you shouldn't expect it all to be super ultra amazing. Uh, like, on my, pr on my other character is, like, I've leveled him up mainly in beam technology. So, I can build um, beam weapons and beam technology a hell of a lot better, because so that's what I mainly use. I don't generally use cannons as much, unless I'm on the ground. Uh, I prefer to use beam weapons, unless I'm on the ground, and I like using auto rifles. Did I, did I come up here, or is I going down there? <coughs> No, oh, it's just literally here. <laughs> Oops. Um, don't know why I keep having to try and clear my throat. And this one is like, kind of scary-ish, I would say. Depending on the mood setting and what you've recently just watched. Uh, it, whether or not it's night time and whether or not you're expecting it. If you want it to remain as spooky as possible, my advice would be skip past this, this episode, just leave a like and have a comment, or keep watching. I keep watching because I, I personally kept getting stuck. Gotta figure it out, I'm missing a door. But it's crucial to. Thank you, door. It's crucial to actually getting anywhere. That is creepy on its own. She's standing right next to me, but she's on the ship. Well, okay then. <laughs> Creepy, 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 Hopefully, my video on this works. Just Thanks, all right. Is it like a timer? Well, I don't know if it was being on the timer. So it's the light and like you struggle to find doors in this place. And I, I generally use the map to figure out where I'm going. But in this place it's so full of crap, it, it's difficult to find. Just go ahead and pause it if you want to read that. I, for, I, I read all of this a long time ago. Um, I have a character and I have I, I've, literally, I've literally completed all this on. I could go back and do it on it to be honest, but I thought I'd why not restart it because there are some parts that you, love, you need to level up and 
you know, and like the ship, ship collecting and stuff like that. Uh, send another boy from the next ship. What I might do is, I might just get all the Enterprises and Voyager and things like that. <coughs> I personally like them. Tactical ships, uh, well, I, I say they're good for tactical things, but I only, well, it depends on which ship, I suppose. Some tactical ships have three forward facing cannons and one behind or two on each, two in front, two in back. Is that a door? Please tell me it's a door. Oh, hold on, I just missed that. Anyway, uh, but they may only have more slots for your crew members, which is really good depending on what they have. Um, Fairy, <coughs> why did I just sound uh, that listening to that? Who knows? Who knows? Creepy, creep, creepy. a few seconds ago. We were just talking to her a few seconds ago, so I'm sure we just noticed that. She's Star Trek officer. Well, it's official, this light obviously sucks. Pause here, if you need to. Um. <coughs> God damn it. There it is. I think that's it. What's I seen beforehand? I think I was talking about ships. Uh, oh yeah. The type of ships seem to be lower health, have lower health than the engineering ships, which seems kind of strange actually. Engineering seem to have more of a defense and better weapon slots than actual tactical ships. Tactical ships just have more tactical console slots and um weapons. Weapon slots in different orders I suppose. I think I remember seeing an engineering ship that had uh, one more two more weapon slots. Um, an actual tactical ship. It seems kind of strange. So, tactical ships are built for attacking purposes <coughs> and survival. But yet they have lower health and a lower ship rate of crew members. Which, in my eyes, it kind of seems so stupid because they're supposed to be the stronger ones and the better for uh, tactical purposes. So I, I, on my other character, I generally had gone and gotten engineering ships because can I turn the voices off? I shouldn't have. Audio. Turn the music off. Oh yes, I did. I turned the voices off because I thought maybe that might get copyrighted. So there is. So I turned them off for a while ago. That's why I haven't heard any voices, creepy voices. I might just leave them off because then you won't ever, then no one will suspect them. But then now you're suspecting them. Hmm. I'll just say, get copyrighted, I'll, I'll leave them off. And I'll end up having to redo this. But if it doesn't work anyway, I'll have to redo it. 
But if it doesn't work, that means this commentary won't be here and you, me telling you all this, you'll never remember. But it should work because it worked, I'd say, alright for Terraria. What the hell? Game. Here you go away, please. I don't like you. Your beard looks better than mine. I don't have a beard. So you should die for that alone. Your beard better than mine, you just have to die. For one second of beard. Oh, hey, me. Oh, I did not make it Give me a little white. I didn't think these items played. Even though some of them sucked. Mm. Okay, I see a ring where I'm standing. Defeat the killer and find his encryption key. What? I swear I didn't just notice you. Huzzah! It didn't do as much as I thought it would. I don't like that weapon, it makes me think of Ghostbusters. So, close here. And... There you go, put there. Are we sure our officers would actually talk as well? I think they do at some point. But, they don't really talk that much. I suppose it's because you could have various different officers on your bridge, you know, and they'd ha that means they'd have to constantly change the voices, so I suppose it'd be, like, too difficult for them. But I honestly wouldn't care if they kept all the voices for each one the same, like, fit and females, science were all the same, tactical were all the same, engineering all the same, you know, Special ones for all the same. I, I personally couldn't care. I would actually enjoy that because it's something new. And it just seems like a cool thing to be honest. Which the core access room. I think just popped up. Here's secondary security console access core. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. But yeah, I personally would see that as cool, even if they were all the same. I think I'm gonna get attacked. No? Yes? No? Yes? 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 Also. I think the only mission I didn't get shot on was the last mission. And that was just luck. So personally, they won. If that happens, just use a hypo or there are certain abilities that you can use that resist holding or it's just free from it instantly. Which I personally feel it was great because it means you're less likely to die. Although I, it, although it has freed me in the past and I have died shortly after because I didn't get a chance to run. Some of these aren't exactly the nicest of people. These lockboxes, I take them, uh, I just end up getting rid of them. Well, I say get rid of them, I keep 20 as the maximum that you can stack. Um, sell them in the exchange, you know, depending on what they are like, is how well they sell, and how rare they are, I suppose. But other than that, I don't really, you don't really what is in his corpse? Mm, yeah. Mm. 
We did. Well, I should have that right. It's from this room. And are both on the same wall. To head towards the core, you need to take the south, south to the most door on the east wall. It's this one, isn't it? Oh, I forgot there's a compass at the top. And it doesn't tell me which is east. Thank you, compass. Thank you in all your glory. Follow that and turn left and go down the ramp. I'm never going to remember that, so hopefully that doesn't disappear. Trick. Well, it says east on the east wall. Wait, that What? Wait, so I just came out of that one there. And so. How does she know she, that this person is from that timeline? I surely wouldn't everything. But god damn you! Please, not this many. I'll leave all I got or I'll die. I don't know which one first. Yes, there is an invisible wall there, and do be aware I got stuck underneath the floor. And this, this area here is sort of a little glitchy around the beginning of that. Like, I got stuck just below my waist under the floor, which honestly wasn't as fun as you'd think. Is this the right area? God damn you, lag. Still not the right area, but there's loot. That's something. It's a little funny strange how you own how your own grenades and stuff like that, they are so cute. I think it's better that they don't, but it'd be cool. What do I gotta do to say free giveaway of XP? Ah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Even if you are in my fleet. That is a no no. <coughs> Unless you know them in real life and you know that they are your friends. It's never a good idea to um, click links that somebody else sends send you. Because as far as you know, they're bad. I've never clicked on a link somebody else has sent me unless it's a YouTube. <laughs> But even then, I'm a little skeptical. I'm, I'm a little skeptical at all links, to be honest. Even if them, unless they're my own, obviously, because I knew that I've copied and pasted them onto whatever and blah de blah. <coughs> it's like I got something in my throat. Cause I mean, it worked. Oh, cause sometimes those the noise that you get from accessing the consoles, it makes you sound like you've just got denied access. But it turns out it works. It sounds strange. That's why they put it. Um, if anybody wants to play this with me, <coughs> God damn it! I have to have a drink. If anybody wants to play this with me, send me a message, leave a comment. You know, again, it makes it sound like it didn't work. Oh God. So much players are the best of times for grim, creepy, and horrible. Some people like them. They are interesting creatures, but they're also creepy creatures. <coughs> Please. I don't suppose I can take that many. Hmm. And. If anybody's ever wondering, do I use equipment from my previous character and put it in one to this character? No, I do not. Okay. My other character is level 60, so it's like far too high. By far, I mean far. <laughs> because level 60 is, I don't believe, the highest you can go. Unless there's like a DLC that you can go higher from the uh, cap. Because there are in some games like Borderlands, you can get DLC that increases your max level cap, you know. 
Oh, there's that thing. Can you play that one? Yeah. Yeah. You can get... Well, it's kind of like DLC things in this. Um... Oh. What? I just looked at my... I just looked... How is he killing me through my steel? I think I've been paying more attention to my health. Yes, he wants me to die. <laughs> there was a short disabled period that we did it. Um, if you can click call for help and your people will actually come and assist you, which is pretty good by my standards, I think I'm going to just take off these and just use this. Because this is like a shotgun. Um, Pause it there and wait, are we finished here? Because if so, uh, I suppose I wouldn't be too happy, but I wouldn't be too annoyed. If you're wondering where I got these big heavy guns from, uh, the mission previously, um, I had to do it multiple times. So, I did it that many multiple times that I pretty much got all the good rewards from it. Which, at the same time, it's good. Um, because I got a new walk call from it, I got those two things, I got, um, and I got something else from it. I just can't remember what. It's just like a shotgun. Can you put the shooter, I think? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't do that. You can shoot it if you want, it can take its health down to nothing. I personally enjoy doing it. And then just do that. Uh, I may have to go to K7. Whether or not I do, I cannot remember. I have a text message. Uh, I, I don't think you have to stand in the trans... No, you don't have to, you just could be now. I forgot. I'm so glad K7. Ouch. I'm so glad K7. I'm pressing the wrong button. Ah, oh, I just pressed the wrong button. I pressed F. Which is the acceptance key. So I just walked in back to the station. The wrong station at that. This is why I need an editing software. Yes, I don't have one. I'm working on it. Or at least I don't think I have one yet. I, might, I think I do actually have one, I just haven't used it yet. Um, I will certainly look into it. I miss all the ship battles, to be honest. Flash ship battles to uh, ground battles, that's for sure. I do love me some ship battles. <coughs> that is cool, that looks like something out of Star Wars. So wait, what? I'm going to actually have to find out what that is. He's level 47, sweet. No, he's 47 higher than I am. He's a Vodwa Man... Man... Manasseh... Escort, that's tier 6. That looks sweet. You cannot say that does not look sweet with some Borg attachments. Um, 
at one point I will show you how to get the Borg attachments because I have them <coughs> I have I believe there's three Borg attachments that you can get or two and a weapon but I know there's a weapon the weapon's pretty good it holds like five torpedoes and you can shoot them You can shoot them like literally rapidly, like it takes like a second to call down, shoot another one or a few seconds to shoot, call down. Not like normal torpedo, you can shoot, 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 and <clears throat> when the last one's gone, they slowly, it slowly like regenerates, so you don't have to wait too long. And the ball torpedoes are pretty good, I must say. Some of the uh, uh, quick pack of them so I see, so I don't get what it tells you to choose one of the following. Because congratulations, <laughs> Lieutenant Commander. Choose <laughs> the following. Um, I may or may not record straight after this. The retro phaser bank. It says it only does 3.5 phaser damage, which to anybody in this game would see that and think. Uh, his pants, this machine ain't worth squat. It's like a glitch or a bug that has never been sorted out properly. But when you're on the ground, it only looks like it's 3.5, but when you're in space, it's actual amount. It's not actually 3.5. When you're attached to your ship, when you're on the ground, or on a station, it says 3.5. When you're in space, it's, it's, it actually is different. Also, if you want to do this Terrell Assistant satellite repair, you can repeat it daily. It's a good, a good little bit of dilithium. I'll make a video on that sometime. My throat is hurting because uh, of all the cuff cuffing. Gotta go. Oh, Drones the station. Damn it. Drones the station. My bad. Um, I will end it here. Uh, just that. That's what I'm saying now. <laughs> I don't like the dive station. It's alright, but you have to do some tra time traveling. You have to meet the Enterprise. That's only then, though. Um, well, I'll just see you next time. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and do share this to the world. I can't wait to see you again. And again, if anybody wants to play, I'll happily play missions with you. I will happily assist you in any mission that you need assistance with, ground or space. Preferably space, but I'll happily help you in ground missions. Um, Uh, you can play missions in my campaign with me if you want, and I'll leave you in the description. I will happily play with anybody to be honest. More friends the merrier. Um, uh, I will. So yeah, I will put you in the description if you want to play my campaign with me. You can assist me as much as you want. Anybody can come along. There are some missions though that you can't play with this one. There are actual single pl single player missions. So I apologize if you want to play those missions with me as well. It's impossible. If you've tried as many times as I possibly could, but it even says at the bottom of the mission, single player only. So leave a comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you another time. And again screen isn't frozen, it's not lagging or any of that stuff, it just seems like that because every time I click off it, it my laptop actually pauses the game, or sort of half pauses it, so it looks like it's frozen or it's lagging, but it's 
Excellent note. So I will see you next time.